<laughs> God. It's been a very long time. If I can <laughs> dig back in my memory to remember, we met um, in a kitchen, of course, and in Chicago. We were both Midwest girls, so we met at La Perroquet like 30 plus years ago. And it was immediate bonding, you know. We were the only two women in the kitchen. We both loved cooking more than anything in the whole world. And we rode along Lake Michigan. I was on the handlebars of Mary Sue's bike when we were going to work. That was when Literally. I was much stronger. <laughs> yeah. So we worked, together, we worked together there for about a year and a half, and then um, I ended up moving out to L.A., and about two years later, we stayed in touch, but not that much. We both, like, one of us called the other one, and we ended up in France literally within two weeks of each other without knowing that was happening. And we both had a great apprenticeship uh, programs that we were working in, Susan on the Riviera, and I was in Paris at both, you know, great Michelin-starred restaurants, and we kept in touch, and that was at the end of that year that we were sort of... After drinking one or two bottles of wine. I think it was out. two. <laughs> Might have been closer to three. We looked out the window <laughs> and there was a big rainbow and we said, let's go into business together. <laughs> we should do this together because we were both sort of ready to stop working for other people. Of course, we didn't, we didn't have any money to do one thing. You know, I came back to L.A., Mary Sue went to Chicago, but we ended up like within probably six, eight months later, Mary Sue moved out to L.A. and we opened up our first little tiny city cafe in 1981. And that's what brings us together.